Is the entire universe just one massive computer simulation? Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're deep diving even deeper into one of the deepest and most mind-bending ideas in all of physics. The concept of digital physics. This is the idea that the entire universe we live in, everything we see and experience, could actually be nothing more than a massive computer. Pretty crazy, right? Now, this idea has been around for a while, going back to the 1960s when a German physicist named Konrad Zuse first proposed it. Zuse thought that the universe itself could be like a giant cellular automaton, a sort of computational model where everything is broken down into discrete cells that evolve over time based on a set of rules. Basically, Zuse saw the cosmos as one huge, constantly running computer program. Then, in the 1970s, a physicist named Edward Fredkin really helped popularize this concept by coining the term digital physics. Fredkin was totally fascinated by this idea and even helped set up a research group at MIT to study it further. The core belief of digital physics is that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not the particles and fields we usually think of, but instead are tiny bits of digital information. Just like how a regular computer processes and stores information as strings of ones and zeros, the thinking is that the universe itself could be processing and updating vast amounts of digital data according to its own set of underlying rules and algorithms. Pretty mind-blowing to think about, right? Now, one of the really cool things about the digital physics perspective is that it has the potential to help unify some of the deepest mysteries in physics. For example, it could provide a way to bridge the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity two pillars of modern physics that have stubbornly resisted being reconciled into a single overarching theory. The discrete, computational nature of digital physics models might allow us to make sense of the weirdness of the quantum world, while also accounting for the grand scale of gravity and space-time described by Einstein's theories. It's an ambitious goal, but exploring this digital universe idea could lead to major breakthroughs. Of course, digital physics isn't without its challenges, one big issue is that current models have a hard time preserving some of the fundamental symmetries we see in physics, like rotational symmetry and translational symmetry. The discrete, pixelated nature of a digital universe doesn't always play nice with the smooth, continuous descriptions we're used to. There's also the tricky problem of reconciling digital physics with quantum mechanics. A lot of digital physics models rely on the idea of local hidden variables the notion that there are unseen variables underlying quantum phenomena. But experiments based on Bell's theorem have pretty definitively ruled out those kinds of hidden variable theories. So, digital physics definitely has some work to do on that front. But researchers haven't given up. In fact, there are some really fascinating new approaches being explored, like the idea of causal dynamical triangulation. This is a way of building a discrete quantum theory of gravity by looking at all the possible ways space-time could be broken down into little pieces. It's still early days, but it could be a game-changer. Imagine being able to simulate the entire universe on a computer, every atom, with all the complexity and beauty of the cosmos reduced to a set of algorithms and data structures. Now, I know that probably sounds like the plot of some sci-fi movie, but hear me out. Even if the universe isn't a full-blown simulation, the insights we might gain from exploring digital physics could revolutionize our understanding of reality at the most fundamental level. It has the potential to change everything we thought we knew. So what do you all think? Is the idea of a digital universe just too crazy to be true? Or is this the key to unlocking some of the deepest secrets of our cosmos? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-bending physics discussions. I'll see you in the next one.